All right, so we're staying here on the with football on the Sports Max Zone. And action in Europe's the third tier club competition, the European Conference League, resumed earlier on Wednesday with Belgian outfit club Brugge hosting Italian club Fiorentina in the second leg of their semi-final at the Jan Bridal Stadion with the aggregate 3-2 in favour of Fiorentina. Let's take a look now at how it unfolded. But it's working. De Kuyper on the charge. Now Thiago to Van Aken. De Kuyper still in there. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! Bruggerly, the semi-finals all square. And they deserve it. And it really was a glancing touch against one another. Nico Gonzalez firing it that in there. Oh, he's given a penalty for a high boot. Huge moment in this semi-final. And it's in. Mignolet gets right, went right, but Beltran celebrates an equaliser on the night for Fiorentina. That gives them the lead again on aggregate in this conference semi-final tie. Vanakin again. So nearly sent us to extra time a moment ago. It's over. Fiorentina. Back to back European finals. All right, so for the second season running, Fiorentina are through to the Conference League final. So Lance, great consistency there shown by Fiorentina in Europe's third tier. Saw this one coming? Well, yeah, um, pretty consistent and pretty solid. The Italian teams are pretty prominent in the lower tiers of, of Europe at the yes, moment. Please. We see AS Roma and Atalanta in the Europa League playoff semi-finals as well. So um, good on the, the Syria teams that they are prominent in, in tier one and tier two or tier two and three in, in European football. But Fiorentina solid and they were good last year, pretty solid this year domestically. They haven't been doing that well. They're mid-table in Serie A at the moment, but um, for these uh, conference championships, uh, they are putting their shoulders to the wheel and addressing the assignment. Yeah, getting the job done. And then the second semi-final set for Thursday will see Premier League club Aston Villa travelling to Greece as they seek to overturn a 4-2 deficit when they take on Olymp Olympiacos. So Lance, the question for you, do you see Aston Villa and Leon Bailey overturning the two goal deficit well they have a chance it's but gonna it's be go tough it's gonna be tough for them because they lost at home and uh, but they can be a high scoring team Aston Villa on their best day so they've got to find one of those days in this fixture on Thursday having said that Olympiacos are playing really well at the moment they have scored eight goals in their last two matches so they are on scoring form at the moment and they're in the middle of a heated battle for the Greek Super League title um, along with teams like Panathinaikos and uh, AEK Athens, who has uh, the outstanding TNT striker Levi Garcia in their setup. So they are in the middle of a huge domestic battle, so they are sharp and they're mentally attuned to their jobs. So I, I think Aston Villa has it all to do to overturn this one. Yeah, and they're going up against an Olympiaco squad that had no matches on the weekend, so it's a well rested Olympiaco squad. Looking forward to see how that result turns out. Well, still with European club football and the second day competition, the Europa League resumes on Thursday with the semi-finals. The results from the first leg saw Marseille and Atalanta playing to a one all draw in France and Bayer Leverkusen leaving Italy with 2-0 aggregate lead over AS Roma. Well, ahead of Thursday's semi-final, Bayer Leverkusen head coach Xabi Alonso was full of praise for his team already crowned Bundesliga champion this let's take a look at what he says first so he says that this high level in the Bundesliga means that we've been able what we've been able to do is not easy a return leg is always a dangerous situation no matter what the first result was a goal can quickly change the situation and the mindset we want to be aggressive to control the game and to defend well. So the question, does Bayer Leverkusen continue their unbeaten run in all competitions when they host AS Roma on Thursday? Let's turn to our top analyst, Ben Davis. Ben, good afternoon. 
Good afternoon, Mariah. How are you? All right. So you're switching now from Champions League duties. And of course, we're going to be talking Europa League. And do you think Bayer Leverkusen, Ben, has what it takes to get the job done? Well, you know, Mariah, that there's 49 games, again, unbeaten. And they're on this fantastic runner. They're having a great season. And in the uh, corresponding fixture in Rome last week, you know, it was a comfortable victory, wasn't it, after a while? 2-0. Uh, Florian Wurz was the tormentor-in-chief, you know, after the courts had made a mistake. And then they basically took over the game and could have maybe won it 2 or 3-0 in the end. So they're at home. They have this strong mentality, of course, you know, the Germans never say die attitude. And I, can't, I can see them having a very comfortable victory tomorrow. Yeah, well, they already have one foot in the door. And of course, Xabi Alonso has a lot of praise for his team. He speaks about the team's commitment and of course their discipline. And I think when you really look at the squad and you analyze how the players have been going about their jobs, you can see that it's evident that they've made uh, the work for Xabi Alonso a bit easier. Yes, I mean, they've bought into his philosophy, you know, his new, new tactical nuances and and it's worked hasn't it they've got success they believe in him they've got confidence obviously after winning game after game and again they do not want to lose a game and you know it's it's fantastic to see their energy to see their drive and the great mentality that they have and this is in attack mode and defensive mode so they actually you know are dominating games and it's going to be very interesting to see you know, the, the performance, obviously, tomorrow against Roma and see what Roma has, you know, to try and dent their run and, and maybe try and overturn this tie. But it's going to be difficult, especially in Germany. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. And I'll have to ask you, Ben, as you mentioned AS Roma, Tammy Abraham playing for AS Roma. <laughs> do you think he needs to do more in order to help his team? Yes, I mean, he's he's expected to score goals and he's the same as Lukaku. <laughs> and, you know... They get paid for scoring goals. But as I think I said last week, you know, they haven't had a consistent run of games. So you do get that little bit of rustiness, you know, when you come onto the field. And of course, the pressure is on not just from the manager, your players, you know, that you play with, the fans as well. So there is a lot, obviously, riding on him to come up with the goods. And as that clip showed there, he was just a, a head away you know, from scoring that goal to maybe give Roma a little bit of something, you know, to take into the return leg. Yeah, and Ben, you just used the word confidence just now, attaching to Bayer Leverkusen, and uh, they can't be any more high on confidence. 5-1 um, over Eintracht Frankfurt in the Bundesliga on the weekend, as well as they celebrate their new status as Bundesliga champions. That's right. Uh, they keep going from strength to strength, don't they, Lance? You know, every single game, as I said, they want to win. They're trying, obviously, to have this fantastic season of being unbeaten, you know, which uh, it's, not, it's very hard to do in any European league. It's very, very hard to do. Yeah. So uh, let's see if they can do it. Yeah, and that, that record of 49-0 and 0 rings a bell for me because I think that was Rocky Marciano's uh, heavyweight <laughs> record, 49-0, and 0, um, uh, many decades back in heavyweight boxing. <laughs> 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 yeah, I believe so. I don't think I was around there, Lance, but I think it was true, yeah. 49. <laughs> yes, <believe> you. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it, it was. I think Larry Holmes had the opportunity to beat it and, and mm. he lost to Spinks, I think it was. Spinks, yeah, yeah Leon Spinks. Yeah, yeah. it was hugely yeah. disappointing for Larry Holmes because he felt <laughs> that, that, you know, he was robbed. Anyhow, I just wanted yeah. to make the point, though, in saying that, that there's something called law of averages and and at some point the streak will end i guess leverkusen will hope that that streak ends next season and not this season <laughs> yeah but as you know at the, at the business end of the season lance players do get tired it's been a, a long season for them and obviously a very successful season but they'll be they'll come one game or other where you'll see them start to look weary you know but you know that that's the german mentality the mindset that takes you through, you know, to, to accomplish what you want to do and get the success that they're starting to uh, achieve already. Yeah, and I, I just referenced the Italian teams in, in the lower tiers of, of European football. Of course, Atalanta mm -hmm. against Marseille as well in the second one. 
Um, how do you look ahead to that one as we wrap the segment? Yeah, Atlanta, again, is a tough proposition for Marseille, you know, in Bergamo. Um, Marseille are not having a very good domestic season, although, you know, can you equivocate it to the Euro European scene? Yeah, probably in some ways. And Atlanta, you know, as Pep Guardiola said, you know, a few years ago, it's like going to the dentist. It's a grind. You know, they just keep on and on at you. They're, they're very good at high pressing. You know, they tend to mark man for man and they shut you down and close you down very quickly. And as I said, I see a tough game for Marseille because they need a result, obviously, to go through to this final, you know? Yeah. And Atlanta, at Atlanta, you know, I've got um, Skimaka, who's firing on all cylinders. I think he's got six goals in this tournament. So it is going to be a very tough ask for Marseille as well. Yeah, and I'll be looking closely to see what Pe Emrick Aubameyang is doing for his team. So Ben, as usual, we want to thank you for chatting with us here on the Sportsman. No, so no, no, yeah, no problem. I just wanted to say Eric and I got the right score as well today, you know, 2-1. Yeah, you did on the Champions League <laughs> show, but because Juan was giving us a lot of trouble yesterday, we just wanted to <laughs> give him his credit. But congrats to you as well and Eric. <laughs> Thanks very much, Mariah. All right, nice then. to speak to you again. Speak to you soon. Yeah. Lance, Mariah, take care. You too. Have a good evening. Break time. <laughs>